Okay, so this video is going to show how to use Stroop with new Moopen releases. So first we'll download the latest new Moopen release. And open it. So here's the Moopen exe. And uh, I you can just drag this into your existing Moopen folder. This is called Moopen64.exe. So... Once I go into my Moopen folder, there it is. And if I open it, Windows Defender will give me an error, but whatever. All right, now here's new Moopen. Now, right off the bat, if you try to use Troop with this, it will not work. So what you need to do is go under Help, click Show RAM Start, and this will give you the RAM Start address for this Troop config. So we'll just write that down somewhere. I'll open Notepad and write down OX4BB7A0. All right. Now we go to your Stroop folder. This is just the folder where the Stroop exe is. Go to Config and out of all these XML files, there's Config.xml. And we can just open it with Notepad. Oh, File Explorer has hung. Let's wait for it. Um. Oh, okay, there we go. So all we need to do is add a line on, under these emulator lines for uh, moopn64.exe with this address. So we can just copy one of these, paste it in, and process name has to be the name of the exe. If we go back, See that the exe was named moopen64. So we just put in moopen64. Let me take this address and just put it in like that. And save it. And there we go. Now Stroop should work with our new moopen exe. So if we open Stroop, we open moopen. We don't need this anymore. All right, Stroop's loading. And we can see that it does recognize this move in here. And it should connect to it just fine. There we go.